Tommy will come out and Tommy will make you. Yes! Then they show me that yesterday they finished me on air. Say your Maria is coming around you. Oh yeah, that. So tell me, for what? Do you if you ever think, say, you're you aligning with Sharon? Show for you. No, not sure. You don't think like that. No, I don't believe stuff like that. Like, um, I'm a destiny believer. This was meant to happen, and it's happened. And it happened. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azinia Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, can you click on the subscription button? Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. <laughs> Okay guys, so Maria, JMK and Sami are currently doing their media rounds on different radio stations across Lagos. Yes guys, and I'm here to give you the tea of some of the things that were said during the media rounds. Yes, guys. But before we go into that, JMK had her one-on-one -on -one interview with Ebuka. Yes, and Ebuka asked her some questions about her tweets. Remember that her famous tweets, you know, um, where she was dragging um, ex Big Brother Niger housemates, where she was like, oh, she doesn't know about the show Big Brother. And Ebuka was like, okay, explain to us what happened. I mean, you said you do not know about the show and now you are part of the show what exactly was going on and she actually said she apologized you know for all that that basically those tweets were not like serious serious you know she just wanted to tweet and all that so she's sorry you know for all those tweets that she did in the past before coming to the show now for that i feel like there's a lesson to be learned here all of you that are writing different things against people i keep saying it you know just watch what you say so that it will not come back in future to bite you yes now ebuka went on to ask her about you know her sister sister bond or her friendship with angel ebuka asked her do you if she thinks you know that friendship is actually genuine and she said yes you know that when she came into the house she kind of like found it very hard to like mingle with every other housemate initially it was the guys you know that were mingling with her but angel stood out from other girls because other girls were like doing their own thing and all that so when you know she came in angel you know was there and from there they became kind of like not kind of they actually became very close and she realized that angel find it or found it very easy to open up to her so yes you know she actually thinks that her sisterhood or her friendship you know with angel is 100 percent genuine and ebuka also asked her how she fared in the house her experience you know which she said you know coming into the house she did not expect that there will be clicks already in the house so it was kind of a bit difficult to fit in and she also went on to tell us that being a viewer of the show is totally totally different from being like in the house from being a housemate so the um the experience actually is way different so she was not even prepared you know for any of that and Ibuka also asked her about her statement which she said that um she's ready to leave and that they already know who the winner of the show is and she explained and said they she was talking about was not like big brother or the producers or the organizers she is talking about god that like destiny you know that god already knows you know who it is that will be the winner of the show that she believes that she being you know in the show you know it's like um how do I, a stepping stone for her to achieve greater things you know outside of the show yes guys and also ebuka asked her about you know which guy in the house is she attracted to and she was like okay ebuka the team here is let them just keep it at attraction nothing more than that and she said she is actually attracted to cross hmm ebuka was like okay i mean what happened between you and Cross? And she actually said, okay, there was a little kiss here and there. Ibuka was like, little kiss here and there. Okay. Hey, okay. Anyways, Sha, kiss Sha happened between them. And she said, here and there. Meaning, it is not one kiss. So it is not, you know, one occasion. There was here and there. Yes, guys. So Ibuka also asked her about Boma. She was like, ah, that Boma was like 
too much. And Buma comes out every week and is like, oh, who's going to be his highlight for the week? You know, and she started noticing that Buma started getting close to Angel and she had to like call her girl to order and be like, girl, see what this guy said. And he doesn't really, he's coming close to you, you know, because he likes you. He just wants to use you as a highlight. You know, she had to like warn her girl about Buma. So like Buma is not that. The way she even described him, you know that she is over Boma and she does not like Boma's character. Yes, guys. Um, moving forward, Ibuka asked her, okay, what is it for um, JMK? And she said she would like to do many things in entertainment-wise. But if her um, career permits her, remember she is actually a lawyer, that if her um, career permits her to juggle both, you know, entertainment and all that, she is willing to do all that. Yes, guys. So that was the interview Ibuka had with JMK. Now, during the media rounds, you know, Maria was put on the spot about the finger issue between her and Pere. And they asked her, like, okay, Maria, what's up with that? You know, uh, Perez said, you know, he called Angel and JMK told them. He also told you, you know, while J um, Angel was there, what actually happened, you know? And Maria went on to say this. Listen. Sorry, this boy, impossible to say the lie. They, I think in this, in, I think in get the feeling, they ask me when Sharon with the question now. They can't call you, come when Angel did, they can't see repeat the same time. They say, ah, this thing happened. Yeah, no. No, that, that like why why Pere will go that far? They no, talk no. saying do that kind of thing and you do that kind of thing to her back. Okay, so the contradictions because the oh. contradictory stories okay. everywhere. Yeah. They actually did not call uh, Angel. There's different different clips where this has happened. Oh, okay. Um the initial one, I'm coming out of the house to know and I'm getting to know that obviously he called Angel and JMK aside and told them stuff mm. out of his own will. I don't know how mm. they were talking. I don't know how mm. he said. I saw that. Because I think the reason why he talked, he said, he said, you know, they understand why when I go dead cool inside of the next day, because I said, yeah, like, oh, dog, oh, dog, like, say, no, me, let me see for you. No, so. we, he never, like, Perry, every time Perry sleeps on my bed, like, it's so obvious. If, if the people who are really watching the show, you know, they show us all the clip, but now show more than the man, they show more. Okay, fair enough. Mm. But if they're really watching the show, mm. half of the time, there's always, even when we were in head, upstairs, like head of yeah. room, I always make sure I demarcated, like, Perry would always try and... So nothing like that happened? Nothing like that happened. And I, I want to clarify, because you just said yeah. he, he called Angel to come and... Like, to see, yeah, one asked that one. Be like, I'm I, going, I'm going. You've been no one here and ask the no, question, but you still stay. I was the one who did that. Okay. So we, it was literally just a Saturday night party that yeah. we had. I heard. Mm. But prior to that, me and Perry don't already have conversation about this okay. because I wasn't even talking to him for a very long time, like mm. a couple of days. I think I was waiting to make up. No, I, no, no, no. We were playing a game called Questions. Yeah. Perry <laughs> said it like, yeah. basically, the, the game is like, if I ask you a question. Yeah. You know what I understand, but yeah. it will be question that will ginger you that you have to answer me and if you answer me you don't feel but mm -hmm. you have to ignore whatever I ask to ask the next person that starts to use something else. So Perry had asked me, you know, Maria, why did you two nights ago let me mm -hmm. I don't like to repeat the thing because honestly, mm -hmm. girl, I know how I carry myself in it. So it not happen. Said, but it did not happen. But it, it, it but you know they bad that which it really happened, Sharon. No, that's very disrespectful. I'm All right. TV show mm -hmm. and it's just disrespectful. Okay. And I did have something outside of the house, so I would like that. It so with this narrative when Perry don't share it by you will now still be good friends outside when Absolutely come outside. not because it's not because it's only just this. There's so many. Not because of me. He's not my enemy, but I just wish him well. I just. Yes, guys, Maria said nothing of sort happened. Like, nothing like that actually happened between she and Pere. You all heard what she said. So, basically, baby girl is saying nothing like that happened. I mean, no face, no case. Yes, guys, what do you think about Maria's response? Do you actually think that that was a lie that Pere told? Or do you sincerely believe that Pere was actually saying the truth? Me, my own is, as of now, I mean, Maria is the one outside the house, right? I can't wait for Pere to come out and these same radio presenters will hit him with that, you know, question. Let's see if he will change mouth or if he will actually stand with what he said before. And yes, guys, they asked them, who are you rooting for? Maria said, um, Liqua Rose and White Money. Um, Sammy said, of course, White Money and um, Angel, if I'm not mistaken. JMK said, um, I think White Money, Angel, and Yusef. So let's see which of their predictions will actually come true. Yes, guys, make sure you stay tuned to this channel because I'll be bringing you more of the gist, yes, from their media rounds. 
yes guys so away from all that let's talk a bit about those that are currently inside the house um i just got back and i saw a glimpse of saga's diary session because big brother was asking them if you have the power to evict two housemates which will it be guess what this guy chose michael why because michael dry humped nini and i will not let anybody dry hump jackie that was saga's reason like i literally had to say it because i cannot keep it to myself anymore what is going on with our saga though anyways guys that's another jays for another video thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video till i come your way again i remain your darling girl az new williams have yourself a beautiful day ahead bye guys Things to repair. But that thing between you and him, mm -hmm. please, I, I, I didn't make it through more light. It's a situation shape or what? Friendship. Friendship? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we get so many people when we get into friendship with. I understand saying if you know be like that. But you also they get problem with program to open up to other people, play with other people. Why do I so okay, I don't have any problem. The okay. problem is, um, obviously we are all human. Mm -hmm. um, we're in that house for a couple of weeks and like it's a thing where if you know, you've casted me in the house saying, mm -hmm. oh, you know, saying it to everyone, I really like Maria, I really like Maria, even when as far as, you know, using the word mm -hmm. L-O-V-E, and I was explaining to you nothing would ever come of us, but I do really like you as a friend, and I like what we have in the house, like the friendship that mm -hmm. we've bonded, and I can confide in you, you can confide in me, to yes. make friendship, yes. or relationship, however you want to put that, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, he still was pursuing and pursuing I wouldn't say pressure because that's a bit, you know, too much. Pressure. But, you know, he was pursuing, pursuing, and I was just now having fun and, like, you know, okay. loving the attention. Okay. So now, as a girl, I don't know, it's every other girl, they uh, feel me and understand <laughs> where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's right. no thing to do with jealousy. Oh. I don't think I was jealous of anyone. I don't think anyone was a threat whatsoever, and I hope I was never a threat to anyone. To anybody. But the thing is, you can't cast me and make it known, and then the same people that tell you, oh, uh, Perry's my type, or I really like Perry, mm -hmm. you come and tell me, oh, oh, her, like, no, I've never, like, she's not my type, and then.